business editor Richard Southern joins us now. Courier companies have been working nonstop during this pandemic, and now they're hoping to get a little extra protection against the virus, Richard. Yeah, Erica, uh, good evening. They want to get their employees vaccinated. And, you know, you think of uh, of couriers and you might think, well, they're, you know, they deliver my, you know, my package of socks that uh, arrives on my doorstep when I order it online or my, you know, documents or what have you. But um, I was talking today, Erica, to the head of Purelator, and he pointed out to me, I didn't know this, that they deliver so many critical medical infrastructure devices and what have you. And that's why Purelator president and CEO uh, tells me he wants his employees vaccinated now. Take a look. The ultimate um, solution here is vaccines. So we've, we've done everything we can. We reached out to all levels of government and said, you know, we're critical to getting ventilators, to getting all this equipment into hospitals to treat people. And so we really need a sense of urgency now, and we're willing to do just about anything we, we can to help make that happen. And Erica, he tells me demand remains high, of course, as far as the the parcels they're delivering, but they, they have a better system in place to deal with it. But I, I suppose you can just add them to the list. There's a lot of critical employees out there that are looking to be vaccinated yeah, right now, but absolutely. aren't able to. Yeah, absolutely. And it is a good argument as well. They are very critical to making sure that uh, hospitals have the equipment that they need. All right. Uh, the Canadian economy is growing faster than many economists had expected, Richard. Yeah, we heard from the Bank of Canada today, and uh, good news, I suppose, is that they think the economy is going to grow now 6.5% this year. That's way more than they were predicting just three months ago. It's actually more than what the federal government predicted in the budget this week. But anyways, with that in mind, the bank also, Erica, shifted forward its guidance on when we may see an interest rate hike. Now, to the first half of 2022, it's possible, according to the bank, that we see an interest rate hike in the first half of 2022. Of course, rates are near zero right now. And that's one of the reasons why the housing market here in the GTA is so hot. People are piling in with the interest rates low. If they go up come 2022, you know, year and a half from now or so, uh, that could cause a lot of trouble for many. So we're going to watch that closely. Should mention as well, Erica, the loonie headed higher today on this Bank of Canada news. It's up to 80 cents U.S. All right. And finally, uh, forget about Netflix and chill. Top executives at the streaming giant <laughs> might be stressing out a bit, Richard. Oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, uh, Mike Visser, for that. <laughs> Mike, our producer, getting all X-rated with these lines today. Anyways, Erica, <laughs> Netflix making news like today for some very serious reasons here? because exactly they reported said. earnings and they said... Uh, we didn't sign up nearly as many people as we were expecting to. Uh, 3.9 million new subscribers in the last three months. The analysts were looking for 6.2 million. And, you know, one of the reasons Netflix says is the pandemic slowed down the production of new shows. So there's not a lot of new content, not a lot of blockbusters on there. The other reason, though, Erica is people, particularly in the U.S., are emerging from their pandemic hibernation, and they're not watching Netflix as much. The stock was way down on Wall Street today.